In the news, Jagger tells authorities to reject Onoche. Political rivals Gbagbo Bedier unite. A mobile money services, CBN releases regulatory framework to drive financial inclusion. And to Euro 2020 final, England players suffer racial abuse after defeat. Details coming up shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Mesophil Ajinomo, and you're watching TOS News 360. A former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Atahi Rujega, has asked the appointing authorities to reject nomination of Loretta Onoche as a National Commissioner of INEC. He said this while speaking on the controversy over Onoche's nomination on Sunday Politics, a channel's television program. And the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority has announced that it will begin public sensitization for air travelers, which will further enlighten them on steps to take when their flights are delayed or cancelled. The DG of the Aviation Authority, Captain Musa Nuhu, made this known to newsmen in Lagos at the weekend. He said the sensitization would enable the agency to respond appropriately in cases where their rights are violated by airlines. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has seized a truckload of 26.15 kilograms of heroin with value of over 6.5 billion naira at the Motala Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, Lagos, thereby declaring the suspected drug baron behind it wanted. This was contained in a statement by Femi Babafemi, the agency's spokesperson, who on Sunday said its officials made the seizure at the Skyway Aviation Handling Company, PLC, shared of the Lagos Airport. The All Progressives Congress has called on its party members and party supporters in Nigeria and abroad to take advantage of the ongoing Independent National Electoral Commission online continuous voter registration exercise to register and complete the process at designated INEC centers from where they can collect their permanent voter's card. This was announced in a statement issued on Sunday by Senator John Apanu Dehe, the National Secretary of the Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee. On to news from across Africa, former Ivory Coast president and long-term political rivals Lawrence Gbagbo and Harry Conan, in a key step towards healing the country's long-running political crisis, reunited on Saturday to oppose the current head of state, Alassane Ouattara. Gbagbo, Bedi and Alassane Ouattara have dominated the country's political scene for decades, often plunging into rivalries or forging alliances. This is your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television, and you're watching TOS News 360. Stay tuned. Many thanks for staying. As a result of the third wave of COVID-19 in South Africa, President Cyril Ramaphosa announced that the country will remain on a level four lockdown for another two weeks because the highly infectious Delta variant was pushing the third wave. According to Ramaphosa, for the last two weeks, the country has consistently recorded an average of nearly 20,000 daily new cases. At present, the country has over 200,000 active COVID-19 cases. And talking business, foreign investors' interest to Nigeria dropped by 27.5% in the first quarter of 2021, lower than the $7.54 billion foreign investment announcement in the preceding quarter, according to statistics by the Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission. As at 4th March 2021, of the $8.4 billion investment announcement made to Nigeria, only about $5.46 billion were pledged by foreign investors. The remaining $2.08 billion was promised by domestic investors. The Central Bank of Nigeria has released regulatory guidelines and framework for mobile money services in the country in an effort to enhance financial inclusion. The advent of mobile telephony in Nigeria, its fast development and acceptance and recognition of person-to-person -person payment as a viable approach for financial inclusion have made it critical to use the mobile channel to drive financial inclusion among the unbanked, CBN said. The sixth season of the Nigerian Idol ended on Sunday, the 11th of July 2021 in Lagos, with Kingdom emerging winner of the music competition, sponsored by Biggie, Drinks and Techno Mobile. This comes after months of intense musical contests involving over 3,000 participants from across the country. 
and over 16 million votes recorded at the final. Kingdom Francis Akuna Comfort and Faye Jason were the top five from the 11 contestants who made it to the live shows from the auditions. And now talking sports, England stars Bukayo Saka, Marcus Rashford and Jadon Sancho suffered racist online abuse following the Euro 2020 final loss to Italy. Rashford, Sancho and Saka all failed from the sport on Sunday night as England went down 3-2 on penalties. The trail social media pages were quickly flooded with racist comments leading the FA to release a statement condemning the disgusting behaviour. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan-African news network for more updates visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow on live TOS television network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on the network. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Thanks for watching.